Good morning, or should I say afternoon? I am a terrible person. I'm getting an extremely late start today, um, which is not a good idea considering tomorrow is moving day, but we have a solid plan for today. So Ryan's gonna meet me here. It's been a while since he's been here and done work with me here. We've kind of been doing it at two separate places, but um, we have kind of a plan in place, so let's hope that we can execute that flawlessly, and we will just check in with you guys as we go along. All right, guys, we are on a roll today. I am doing the um, window casings around, so I am working on this one now. So this one is kind of a double window situation. So what we're doing is we're framing out the entire window, and then I have a one by six board that I'm gonna put right in the middle, so it'll make it all like one nice uniform casing. Ryan is back here, and he is filling in my um, gaps that I caulked last night, so he is painting away, making this wall look fantastic, and boy, does this wall not look fantastic. So this is the area that he's already done. It just looks so custom. I love it. You're right, it is custom. <laughs> and then we have Billy out here. What's up? Oh, hey, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> he's finishing up our beds today. Yeah, we are getting stuff done. Late night check-in, welcome. So Ryan just left here to go pack up some cleaning supplies because it is getting late. He is going to start doing a full clean of the house just so that things are clean for the movers moving stuff in tomorrow. Like I said, we are not, um, we're not using any of our old furniture. We got all brand new furniture, so a lot of it is still in boxes, so that's good. So we're gonna have a lot of boxes everywhere, which I actually am okay with because I still have work I need to do um, around all of the, the boxes that are coming in tomorrow. I still have some crown molding that I need to caulk. There is some backsplash tile that I still need to finish putting up. Um, I need to do some final paint touch-ups on, on the crown molding and the baseboards. So there's a lot of work to still be done. So the fact that everything is coming in boxes makes me happy and let's work around actual furniture pieces. Um, so once he gets here, he's gonna start cleaning and then I'm going to actually leave and go to the house, the old house, and I'm going to be packing up all of the t-shirt equipment. So our heat press, our um, vinyl cutters, our computer, stuff like that. I'm gonna get all that stuff packed up, put do a box ready for the movers to take tomorrow morning. We need to utilize our movers as much as possible, let them do a lot of the heavy lifting. We're really bad about whenever we move, we're right along with the movers, moving stuff, sometimes working harder than they are. And I told him this time, like, we have things that we need to be doing while the move is happening. Let the movers do their job. Um, so, key update, Ryan painted the, um, charcoal board and batten wall and the olive green board and batten wall he got all of that covered um, he started painting over my um, baseboards and crown molding where i caulked in the seams and the nail holes i painted and sealed the strike plates and got those put on the doors that's what i just got finished doing so there is our new black strike plate on that door and can't see it on that door. So we're ready for the movers to come. By no means is this home quote move in ready, but we're moving in tomorrow. So it is coming together though. I am still so proud of the work that we've done. I mean, look at that behind me. Look at that. That is stunning. Okay, um, Ryan just got here. So we're gonna high five in passing. I'm gonna leave and he is gonna start his clean. What do you have to add? It's been a long day, guys. We are exhausted. I'm over it. I'm ready to be done. But it's so close to being done. Yes. It's looking like a house. It is, and my allergies are just messing me up today, too. Oh, look at that cute baby. All right, so I don't know if we'll check back in again tonight. If not, we will see you right now early tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is moving day. So right now I am headed over to the new place. Um, we are going to hang some, by we I mean me, um, and my mom is gonna meet me there and she's gonna assist me in hanging the remaining few doors that need to be hung up. 
Um, like I said, last night I got all the strike plates put on the doors. So once we get those doors popped up, essentially I will just be waiting for the movers to come and drop off all of our stuff. Ryan did a really good clean last night with my stepmom. Um, he said he's excited for me to see what it looks like in there. So I'm excited to see what it looks like in there. Um, so of course I'm gonna show you guys once I get there. He was right, it does look fantastic in here. Now my saw table is still set up in the middle of the room because I do need to move that outside. Um, Cause I still got some boards to cut today, but everything else looks gorgeous. So they got most of the countertops cleaned off and ready to go. Our master bedroom is ready. Because as soon as the movers get here, I will be setting up our bed so that we can have a place to sleep tonight. Mom just came over and helped me hang the rest of the doors. I also got my saw and saw horses outside so that this area is empty. I'm going to do a quick sweep in here um, from sawdust that kind of fell. And from putting in the new hinges on the doors, there was just some sawdust from that. But everything is done, empty, clear. Here's this door with its new hinges. So we did the office door, office closet, guest bath, guest room, guest closet, and everything is empty and ready to go. Still, I'm absolutely loving this wall. Oh, and another thing I did was I took the bulbs and the glass off of this, um, light fixture because it hangs a little bit low and I do not want the movers to accidentally hit it and break it because that would just be a bigger mess than need be. It's just easier to take it down. But, but here it is guys. It is, it has come together. Um, it is a very rewarding feeling to see all of the progress that we have made. I mean, look at this. I am absolutely obsessed. It does not look like what a typical manufactured home looks like. Even when we got this home, it was great. We love the floor plan. We loved the finishes. However, it just wasn't up to our taste. So we altered it. And looking at before pictures, when it first moved here, and we have the tan walls with the dark floor and the very dark brown accent wall where the TV mount is. It's just such a night and day difference. It's absolutely absurd. And I am so proud of the work that we've done. We have never done something like this before. We have never taken on a renovation or an improvement of this magnitude. And especially me doing it all myself, doing all of the taping and the floating and the wallpaper and crown moldings, baseboards, ceiling fans. I mean, we did this as a team and I am so, so very proud of us. It has come a very long way and our bodies definitely feel it. We are exhausted. We learned a ton from this process. It's not over yet, but man, we are so close. I can taste it because like I said, movers are coming today. They're bringing all the big stuff. We will be actually sleeping here tonight because they're bringing our mattress over. So I'm gonna have to set up our bedroom set this evening so that we have a place to sleep. Um, so tonight is our very first night in here, but I just cannot believe how far we've come in relatively such a short period of time. Um, it's been two weeks and three days since we put that first coat of primer on these walls. And in two weeks and three days, we have gone and transformed this house. There is a YouTuber that I watch who always says, you can't be afraid to do it because you are gonna mess up. You are going to have a learning curve when it comes to doing this. But if you want to update a room, update your office, update your bathroom, do it. Who cares if people tell you that it's too big of a job for you because don't get me wrong, we were told by many a people that we are taking a very big undertaking on. We shouldn't be doing something so big that we've never done before. We're not that educated in it. Um, that we only have a month from the time we close till we absolutely have to leave our current home and that that wasn't going to be enough time. We've heard it all 
and so what just prove him wrong and get in there get your hands dirty like i said whenever we had the walls completely primed that was kind of like the oh shit moment like there's no turning back from this but on the reverse side of it it was kind of like a blank canvas because from that point on everything was so neutral it was our turn to put our stamp on it so don't be afraid get in there and do it and i mean not everyone's going to start doing an entire home i get that i normally wouldn't have started doing an entire home i would have started with a bedroom or a bathroom um, and learn from my experiences there. I just didn't have that luxury of, of taking my time with it. I had to get it done. But because of that, I am proud of how hard I pushed myself. Ryan pushed himself. We definitely, we definitely impressed ourselves. So nothing is perfect. It's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. And I'm totally okay with that. Um, it is absolutely stunning and I couldn't be happier. So get in there and do it. If you want to redo your office, go do it. If you want to try that board and batten wall, do it. By all means, leave me a comment down if you have questions on what I did, how I did it, what videos I watched. I'll be happy to share that information. I honestly feel like the board and batten wall and the master and the guest room are my pride and joy of this house because I cannot believe how amazing that stuff turned out. This is such a custom look. This makes it look like this was a custom built house. Like this is something that A, you wouldn't think it only took a couple hours to do and B, you're never gonna find this in a manufactured home. You're not even gonna find this in a track built home. Even if you bought from a builder, KB, Lennar, whoever, you're not gonna find anything like this. This is something you're gonna have to do to put your own stamp on it. And it is easy, it's very doable. You can do it in a weekend. You could even do it on a Saturday afternoon. Just, if you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And yeah, so right now, the movers are at the old house. Ryan is over there with them. As soon as they load up, they'll be heading this way to drop off, so. Moving day has come. Let's get it going. So the movers have left and we started unboxing our new bedroom furniture set it looks beautiful but and this is a big old but we've been using a platform bed for so many years that we totally forgot that we need a box spring with this bedroom set so i just frantically ordered one and it will be here on thursday but that means we have like three nights with no box spring so our only option is to like throw our mattress down in our living room, which is currently, I mean, it's wide open. We're just gonna put our mattress right there and call it done and sleep in the living room until that box spring comes in. However, tomorrow our couch and stuff is being delivered. So it might just be a one night solution. Then we'll have to figure something out for the other two nights. Yeah. But let's take a look. All right, so this is the Marco set by Living Spaces. So this is the dresser, which we don't have the knobs on yet, and we're not putting the knobs on that came with it because we are gonna put the same knobs that are on our kitchen cabinets on this. Um, so it will be really nice and match. Same thing with the nightstands. We're gonna put the more modern black um, pools on it. And then this is our king bed, which looks fantastic against that green wall. But yeah, 
we totally did not realize that a box spring would be needed. So I did order one, it'll be here on Thursday. Look at this little guy. Norman, what you doing? Say hello to the vlog. So Norman just came home with us two days ago. He's just seven weeks old. Look at that little tail just wagging. So, yeah, it's kind of a mess, but it is what it is. It will get done. This is that um, cabinet from my great grandparents that we refinished and it's going to be our bar set, our liquor cabinet. It will be set up really nicely. We're excited about it. That looks amazing right there. We'll put like a nice plant on there. The office is just full of stuff. Same thing with the guest room. Not too bad actually. Those are our two new twin mattresses right there because we got a really nice trundle day bed that's gonna go against this wall here. So those mattresses are for that. Why are you crying? Where you at? There you are. I'm right here. So yeah. It's coming together slowly but surely. So Ryan went to go drop off the moving truck right now. Um, we rented a budget truck. Um, so he's going to drop that off. On the way back, he's going to pick up lunch because it is about 4 p.m. and we have not eaten yet today and I'm very hungry. And I was really excited to get this bedroom set together while he was gone and kind of surprise him when he got back. But that's just such a bummer, man, about that box spring set. It's okay. It's okay. It's, nothing, it's out of our control. I mean, I guess technically it was in our control. We just failed to realize it. But um, I'm now going to get our internet set up, our um, mesh Wi-Fi router system set up. So that way we can at least watch TV tonight because I'll bring the TV over and hang it on our wall mount in the living room tonight. And... Um, We'll go from there. So I'm just going to be checking in along the way because I cannot promise how much is or is not going to get done. So see you guys in a bit. You guys, it has been a whirlwind over here. Currently, Ryan is at the old house packing up our clothes and our dresser and stuff like that that we can bring over in the cars. I've been here putting together our entertainment center or our TV entertainment nook area um little guy norman here is just playing around hopping around keeping me company um that's really taking up almost all of our evening tonight so here is what we have so far and don't mind the cords they will be hidden at some point but we got this really nice entertainment center so there is a drawer and the drawer front matches the um, doors here, and they are a soft closed door, as you can see. And then this will be another drawer, and it's going to be on a high gloss piano black. And then we're going to have a high gloss piano black glass top that sits on top of this. Um, eventually, I will be drilling holes in the wall to run my cords through the wall so you cannot see them. It looks great. We got our little fiddle fig back there. We need to start opening up its branches so it'll flourish in here um yeah that's really all i got i'm about to head over right now and uh, meet ryan we're gonna shower over at the other house before we come back because our showers do work here it's just they're full of stuff um so yes that's what the plan is is a shower over there come back here he's going to clear a spot for the appliances which are being delivered tomorrow right now there's just cleaning stuff um in the way he has mops and brooms and stuff like that that he needs to put away and while he's doing that i'll be cleaning up my mess from putting this cabinet together um and we're gonna try to call it an early night i refuse to put any more pieces together i'm just gonna clean up the mess that i've made and i will force him to do the same because deliveries our delivery window tomorrow is from 8 to 12 and we have two big deliveries we have the first one is the appliances, and the second one is all of our furniture, everything, except for they did call us today and say that there's um, 
one item that will not be delivered because it's not in stock until May 1st and it's um, we bought two outdoor patio sets one is a high top one is a low top and they match so we are getting the high top but the low top won't be in stock until May 1st but other than that everything is coming couch coffee tables in tables um, outdoor bistro table um, our day bed that's gonna go in our guest room so all of that will be here tomorrow as well as our new refrigerator stove dishwasher and washer and dryer so that is exciting oh yeah we're calling it a night guys so we will see you bright and early tomorrow not sure what the full schedule is yet we're kind of going to wing it and uh, it's really going to depend on what time the deliveries actually get here so we'll be stuck here until that happens so we'll see you tomorrow Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another day of the madness that we are living in. So, a lot has happened today. So, literally, so we had both of our appliances and our furniture delivered today. And I kid you not, like, as the delivery truck for the appliances was leaving, the delivery people pulled up right behind them, so it was nonstop, back-to-back. Now, I'm gonna show you, and as you can see behind me, it is a complete mess in here, so please forgive me. All right, so this is our new LG French store refrigerator. Now, we had a little bit of a hard time finding a fridge that would fit here, and I kinda thought we were only gonna be able to have like the old school top freezer, bottom fridge, but they make a 30 inch wide French store refrigerator by LG, and we got a full LG package. So there is our fridge, absolutely love it. Already got Bang Energy stocked up, because we will be needing it. This is our range. So it is a glass top range with a double oven. Look at that beautiful blue on the interior. So this is gonna be really nice for holidays because we can have two separate ovens going at the exact same time absolutely love that and we have our LG dishwasher with top mount controls and this one has of course the bottom rack this is actually the middle rack and then we have a top rack that was one feature that we really loved about this one is that there is a third little top rack on there so that's all of that here and I am putting together furniture literally as we speak. This is a piece that we did get from Ikea. We did not go crazy at Ikea this time. We got a lot of grown up furniture as me and Ryan call it. But this was a really, really cool mid-century modern, um, just a cabinet, which we're using as like an appliance cabinet. We're gonna house our, there it is right there. We're gonna house like our um, air fryer, instant pot, all that kind of stuff in there. And it has a really um, just kind of modern, let me see if I can see. So it's just kind of a really clean line, kind of old school, mid-century modern look to it. So that is that. We got, here's little Norman, our sofa delivered today. It is a fully powered reclining 
sofa in a gray tweed. I absolutely love this. It is very clean, also kind of mid-century modern. And it has adjustable headrest here. So when they're not being used, you can lay them back. It's a very nice, clean, old school look. I love it. This is our coffee table. We have a matching end table, which is underneath that box right there. These are two gray chairs that we already had and are using them here in this living room. Even though we've had them for like the past two years, we've never used them whatsoever. They were just a showpiece. There is a marble top gold table over there. This is another end table that we got that matches. We got two end tables. We're, turns out we're not going to need that one. We are actually sending that back. They're coming to pick it up tomorrow. This is our entertainment center. So it's really nice. It has soft closed doors. Move this out of the way. Push open drawers is really nice. That is the day bed that will be going into the guest room, but have not done that yet. Outside right there, those are the two high top stools for the mustard yellow bistro table set outdoor set that we got, which will also match the, um, it'll be the exact same chair, but a low set that um, we're still waiting on. It's back ordered. Also, another one that we're waiting on is we got a matching sofa table that will go behind the sofa that matches the coffee table and end table. Please forgive the mess. It is a mess, but super excited about it. Oh, we also got our washer and dryer delivered as well. Beautiful. We went with the more graphite color just kind of because it matches our stuff. There's the other babies. Hi. We got to keep them away because this big one doesn't know how big he is. And if he steps on the little baby, it'll hurt him. So these are um, our washer and dryer. They're beautiful. We love them. Also LG. We bought all LG appliances. So yeah. That is where we're at. Ryan is at the house, the old house now, um, kind of getting some more stuff together. I think he's bringing over like our hanging clothes and stuff like that today. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he's almost done. He'll be headed back here and then we'll go to town on trying to get this place livable. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. It's been a very eventful day, um, but I'm going to get finished with this cabinet here and then I'm going to start getting the outdoor bistro table set up. Hopefully I can get all that done before Ryan gets here.